I didn't go see Godzilla, X Kong, New Empire, Fallen Empire, or whatever it is. I don't even I, I don't even have the title memorized. And yeah, this is the first time a Godzilla movie has ever been in theaters in the U.S. And I've just been I just didn't care. And it's that's not a criticism of the movie because I haven't seen the movie. I just maybe part of it's that I went and saw minus one, and it's not that, that soured me on it. It's that it, it was so good that seeing you know bright neon Godzilla and, and King Kong with like a weird a weird gauntlet thing like a Thanos gauntlet or whatever that was running real fast in the in the pre previews it just didn't do it for me when I was a kid I saw Mars Attacks at the theater which has Godzilla for like the only five seconds of that movie I care about then after that the TriStar Godzilla came out if you want to count that and then after that Godzilla 2000 the first proper Japanese import that I ever had the chance to go see in theaters I went and saw that Godzilla 2012 in this same series I saw that Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla vs Kong and then just this year I went and saw Godzilla minus one I think I've I think there might have been like a one-time showing of Shin Godzilla at a theater that was within reach of me I just didn't know it happened so that's the only time I would have if, if I'm if I'm even remembering that correctly that's the only time I would have missed the chance to see a Godzilla movie at, at the theater just because I didn't find out about it till later but this time I knew it was on I knew it was on and I just didn't go the first one of these movies where he's you know everyone was complaining that the monsters aren't in it enough which is fair I, I liked that and it, it still to me felt like Godzilla pretty much but by King of the Monsters it felt like something trying to be Godzilla the I remember when the credits ran at the end and that still photo of the guy in the Godzilla in the Godzilla suit you know, from from one of the original movies, uh, went by, and I in and, and in my head I was thinking, hey, look, it's Godzilla, and I had been watching that movie for two hours, and I hadn't felt that way, until I saw this photo. And then you know, this year I got to see a, a Japanese Godzilla movie in theaters, which again I hadn't since since the year two thousand, or I think Godzilla two thousand may have actually came came out in in nineteen ninety nine. I, I, it was a long time ago, but I, but yeah, and then so I it just the contrast of the two. This is, again, this isn't saying the American Godzilla series shouldn't exist. I will probably go. I will probably see this movie at some point on some format. Like I'll probably see it as soon as it comes to streaming or or whatever. And it might actually, and it might actually be good, and I might regret not seeing it in theaters. But this new stuff just doesn't feel like Godzilla to me at first blush. Godzilla fandom has always been like a very a very odd grab bag of very different kinds of people who were for some reason or another drawn to these weird little low budget Japanese movies that are you know a big part of pop culture including American pop culture yes but you know who there's only a, there's only certain people who'll say oh yeah my favorite movies as a kid or my favorite movies I always go see are Godzilla and now with these with these new movies, I kind of wonder what 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 fandom is going to be like in the future. If they're if, and I'm not saying oh it's oh it's these kids these days are going to ruin everything. I just can't picture it. Like I don't know who who Godzilla fans are going to be in twenty or thirty years if their first exposure to it was these big big budget like in the style of Independence Day or the trans live action Transformers movies like that kind of movie because that's never been what Godzilla was before it's weird enough to to hear from people whose first Godzilla movies were like the Heisei series like I, I can't even relate to that or, or their first Godzilla movie they ever saw their first exposure to Godzilla was the TriStar Godzilla with Puff Daddy and the Taco Bell dog but you know they 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 eventually found what I would consider real Godzilla movies. Like if you if you if you liked the these current Godzilla movies or the TriStar Godzilla movies, and then you went back and saw the ones from the '60s with the floppy rubber heads, and you know the the hippie protagonists and the and the weird film quality, and you and you thought they were cringe, then get out. You're not a Godzilla fan if you don't like those. But you can't freeze things in time. Like I was telling somebody else when the um, when the Amazon Prime uh, Lord of the Rings prequel series or sequel series or, or what it, I think it was a prequel series came out, 
the sequel to Lord of the Rings already exists. It's the mod it's the modern fantasy genre. It's Elric and Wheel of Time and Dungeons of Dragons and Led Zeppelin and Game of Thrones and all that. That's all. That's all the the real continuation of of Lord of the Rings. And I'm I kind of wonder. Yes, the the new there are movies being put out by Toho. That's the same company that put out the all the other Godzilla movies. Godzilla minus one is the same is from the same company that made Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. But um, but you know, I think aside let's say aside from that, let's say okay, that's one continuation of those Godzilla movies. What is the what is the media that's being made by people who liked Godzilla? Godzilla versus Gigan or Godzilla versus the sea monster when they were a kid and I wonder how that shows through and like I said I don't really have an answer to that question I just think it's an interesting question